18 years have passed since two planes taken over by terrorists on September 11th slammed into the World Trade Towers. 9-11, a date that will never be forgotten. A Tennessee dentist played a major role to help bring closure to some of the families of those 3,000 people who died that day. Tonight, Alan Frio has his story, and Alan, it still haunts him to this day. Yeah, you know, guys, it's really etched in his mind. Dr. Mike Tabor, who has a family dental practice here, is one of only 100 forensic dentists in the country. Now, back in 2001, he was summoned from Nashville to New York with a gruesome task of identifying the countless victims of the terror attack. In some ways, it seems like yesterday, and sometimes it feels like it's a distant dream. Shortly after the 9-11 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Towers, Dr. Mike Tabor joined a team of specialists at Ground Zero charged with putting names to unidentified bodies found in the debris, primarily using dental information. We identified 1,000 out of 3,000. As far as the other victims, identification was impossible. Vaporized, ceased to exist. When you have an explosion that is so enormous that the entire contents are reduced to powder, then all bets are off. What Dr. Tabor will never, ever forget at Ground Zero are the family members holding pictures of loved ones and the pleas he heard every day to find them, to give them the closure they desperately needed. Now my son, who was worked for fire hall number so-and-so, is missing. You, I, I just have to have closure. You have to help me find my son. And we got no training with that, Alan. It was just so uh, emotionally devastating. And the letter he found stapled to a dental chart, a note from a seven-year-old that Dr. Tabor kept bottled up for years, emotionally unable to speak about it. And it was just so touching. And it says, dear doctors, thank you for helping to try to find my daddy. I sure hope he isn't dead. Thanks for all that you've done. Love, Alex. Alex's father was identified as one of the victims. 18 years later, Dr. Tabor has one goal. We as humans owe it to our fellow humans. We cannot let this go to be forgotten. We just can't let it happen. Now, Dr. Tabor said he would definitely like to meet Alex one day. Alex is now 25 years old. But as 911 becomes a, a deeper part of history, and as you mentioned earlier, a new generation is coming about, uh, it's really what Dr. Tabor says. We can't let the memories go away. Right. There's that mm -hmm. adage, if you forget history, right. you're, you're doomed bound to repeat, repeat it. And there are so many mm -hmm. people now, young people today, who have no concept of really what happened that Absolutely. Day. Alan Friel tonight. Thank you. What a story. Yeah. Thank you.